Cause you guys, I look good. Hold up, wait a minute. <laughs> Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me, bitch. Coronavirus. Good morning, vlog. <laughs> I just screamed that and my window is wide open. <laughs> no, but honestly, who gives a fuck? Good morning. It's Monday. It's Labor Day. It's beautiful. I look crazy. What's new? My nails aren't done. Literally just happy Monday. I'm gonna put on everyone that I want everyone to have a great Monday, but an amazing week, a productive week. Money is going to flow into your wallets, into your bank accounts, into your life. Blessings are gonna be poured onto you. You are going to experience great things this week, this month. The rest of this crazy year because you deserve it because you've been putting in the work and it's okay even if you have those days where you don't feel like doing anything or speaking to anyone or just laying in bed and doing nothing i've been there it is okay everyone is allowed that time but you also deserve great things to just come into your life and bless you so i'm putting that on you you watching you right there because i love you guys thank you so much for clicking on this video Tuning in, um, I'm gonna be doing another weekly vlog because you guys seem to really like it. You like me! You guys like me and I like you, so like. Um, I'm on FaceTime with the one and only, Charlie! Serious. I'm probably gonna just throw on some clothes, do something with my hair because it's literally doing whatever it wants. I have some errands to run today. Get my day started. It's one o'clock. I've been up since like 10, 45, 11-ish. I uploaded a video on YouTube. It's actually doing really well. I'm excited. I was answering emails this morning. So I've been really productive. I'm trying to have a good Monday. But it's also Labor Day and I'm just thinking about how like last year's Labor Day, I was literally lit the entire weekend from Friday all the way until basically Monday night, Tuesday morning. Like I was out and just having fun and I was turning up. And it was just a weekend to remember, you know? Like very eventful. Things happened, things changed. And I'm just like, now a year later, like if I'm thinking back to where I was last year to now, it's just crazy to me because so much stuff has changed, but I'm thankful for everything. Things that I had to experience so that I could be the person that I am today. So I'm gonna just leave it at that because now I feel like I'm rambling. God, period. Okay, so this is what <laughs> I got on. My hair looks so crazy. And I'm just like, am I wrong for being comfortable with going out with my hair looking like this? <laughs> this is what I got on. Guys, I just got back from going out, but I just picked up my mail and I'm weak because my dad, last week he sent me like this alarm thing to like, because I told him I was like, you know, a little scared about being out here by myself or whatever. You know, I'm a single lone woman. <laughs> so he was like, okay, I'm going to send you some stuff. So he sent me like this alarm thing that like if someone's following me like i pull on this little ring and it makes a really really loud noise like that shit is dumb loud i don't even want to show you guys because it startles me every time and i know that it's gonna go off like and i think he got off of amazon and then he sent me he was like check your mailbox he sent me a stun gun and it's in the shape of a lipstick <laughs> ah! about to be out here zapping niggas like don't don't play with me like don't play with me i went to starbucks i got my drink and why did i go into zara and buy some cute ass stuff like i bought some basics i didn't go crazy and just zara just has such great basics the first little thing that i got was this 
really cute. Uh oh, it's a little dirty on the inside. This really cute white spaghetti strap bodysuit. I have this same material bodysuit. It's like a really stretchy, comfortable material in nude, but it's um it's not a spaghetti strap. It's like a halter kind of neck. I wore it in the last weekly vlog, but I wanted it in white and I wanted the spaghetti strap and I like how it's like a straight across. I feel like this style of spaghetti strap just really looks really cute on me so i got that and then i got this really cute it's like super stretchy i love it and it's ribbed you know ribbed material just like glides over the rolls and the the extra fluff that you may have you know it just makes everything look smooth so i wanted them to have this in a matching like bottom but they didn't they only had tops like they had it with this top this neckline and then they had the spaghetti strap neckline in a cropped and then they had a long sleeve and i picked up the long sleeve but i was like it's still so hot here in la like i honestly don't need long sleeve and the last little thing i got was the same ribbed super stretchy comfortable material but in a chocolate like brown color this looks so cute and this they actually had matching bottoms for so i got the leggings and it was so funny because like this girl she was like she first came over and she complimented me on what i picked out because of my earth tones and my neutrals and then she came up to me and she was asking me for like fashion advice and i was like that is so cute so that's everything that i got from zara but i just want to tell you i've been snacking on these rosemary triscuits rosemary and olive oil triscuit and i'm eating it with extra sharp cheddar from cracker barrel oh my goodness these two these two together it's a great snack while you're watching youtube videos or netflix so i finally did did my makeup <laughs> i finally did my makeup um i'm just gonna take that little baby <laughs> I just made myself my dinner. It's like I've been eating very keto out of as of recent, but like not throughout the entire day. Like I'll have a carb um with my breakfast or like my first meal of the day so my first meal is always like light but there is a carb and then i'll have like a snack and then my dinner i'll have no carb and it'll just be a protein like in a high fat high protein situation <sighs> this is my dinner i don't know i said carbs so many times i just i honestly i don't fucking know so anyway it's sauteed kale with turkey meatballs i always like season them like cajun style so they're cajun style turkey meatballs this is a vegan caesar dressing but i drizzle some of that on top and then i put parmesan cheese and it's so 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 yummy and i have it with a glass of wine it's leaning on my computer which is actually not safe at all but and i'm watching arnell but I just finished my toes. Look at that. I swear, I was telling China while I was on FaceTime. I'm the best person to do my toes. Nobody can ever do my toes the way I do my toes. Like, and I be wanting to get my toes done just cause I want to feel pampered and I want to feel like, wow, like, yes, get that good scrub or whatever. But nobody, and I mean nobody, does my toes the way I do my toes, okay? Period. I was on YouTube and I was reading like comments or whatever and I was like, let me go check to see where I'm at subscriber wise. And we just hit 50k. Oh my God. It literally just like I refreshed the page and it was at four, it was at 49,997 and then I refreshed it and it hit 50k. Yeah, so 50k just means we're halfway to 100k and that things are moving the way they're supposed to be moving so 
I'm just very thankful. I'm very thankful for all 50,000 of you guys that are out there. If you're watching this, thank you for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up down below if you're happy that I hit 50K. Yeah, give me a thumbs up because I hit 50K. Period. I'm about to get ready for bed because I'm tired. My toes look mad good though. Tomorrow I'm going to wear sandals. And I'll see you guys in the morning. What's today? Today's Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. I got some stuff. I got food because last time I was like two weeks ago. <laughs> I don't care what it is like whatever i make the kale is incorporated somehow into it mm -hmm. that's good that sounds really yummy yeah but i realized that um you really like are effortless at things that you enjoy in this world like mm -hmm. So I put all my groceries away. I'm about to season this steak that I bought, this red meat that I bought for tomorrow. I'm gonna have it marinated overnight. This is literally like me throwing anything, but I'm gonna show you guys cause I usually put stuff like this on my Insta story and I get so many questions about how I season my food and what not. I bought this um, Mongolian beef marinade from pf chang's so i'm gonna put this in there i'm gonna put some chili powder chili powder cayenne pepper because i like it a little spicy garlic powder black pepper and smoked paprika and a little bit of smoked sea salt is that smoked sea salt and crushed <laughs> chili red pepper so yeah i'm gonna put all of these seasonings on the steak and then I'm gonna put this in it and I'm gonna zhuzh it around and put it in the fridge overnight. So I just bought this little $4 pack of steak. I'm just gonna put it in the fridge overnight and I'm gonna make this tomorrow for dinner. Hola, mamacita. Hola, mamacita. I didn't know, like, I've got my watermelon. Ooh, and I've got my tahini. When I tell you this combination is like out I, of this world. I need to try that. Make sure like you need to, I need to try that. You're because gonna I have it. Them. You're going to have it when you come here. Good morning. Good morning vlog. It is Wednesday morning. Wow, look at the sun. The sun just is blessing me today okay period i'm about to just run to cvs to pick up some things um i do have a lash appointment today at 12 and it's 11:03, but the girl is actually coming here so that's great because i'm not gonna have to travel anywhere but yeah um i have a lash appointment today i need to go to cvs to get some things like i need saran wrap so i can laminate my brows because i'm gonna get my brows together honey lashes is gonna be done i think i'm gonna do my nails later today and film a video 
Um, and then I need to figure out what I'm doing with my hair because I'm just trying to like feel cute because I've just been looking so bummy these past couple of weeks since I've been here. Like, so I was like, you know what? Book a lash appointment, give your nails a rest, and then do them. Let's laminate your brows again. Let's get you all the way together. And I know like once my lashes and my nails are done, I'm gonna like figure out something with my hair and then I'm gonna feel like a bad bitch. It's all just gonna come together, you know? Like, yeah, I have on one of the really cute tops that I bought from Zara, and then these biker shorts are from Pretty Little Thing. I've had these for a really long time, actually. So, they're not the same nude, but they still look really cute together, actually. Period. She's looking skinnier. You're skinnier every time. Yeah, let's just go run these errands. Can I have a venti, very, very hibiscus with no lemonade, light ice? And can I have the sugar-free vanilla sweetener? Um, six, six pumps. Thank you. I literally just got in the door. Look at how good they made my drink. You see all that color? And he put so many berries in it. I just got like home stuff. Like I needed soap from CVS. I got a gallon of water because you always gotta have water in the crib. I got Q-tips because I need the Q-tips. And I got coconut oil. This is the Shea Moisture one. This shit was $20, very expensive. I don't know why I spent that much, but it's like I need it, so. And then a nail clipper because my nails I don't know where my nail clipper is, I lost it. I have these, um, a comforter and a sheet set from Cozy Earth. They were really kind enough to send me some in PR, so I'm actually really excited about this. It's a bamboo, premium bamboo bedding comforter and sheet set. So I'm like, I wanna put that on my bed now, but like, I don't know, what if she gets here in like two seconds and I'm not done? Ready to go? Yeah, I'm here. I'm sorry. Okay. That's right. You can vlog it. Don't yeah. Worry. Guys, I'm all done. Where's my phone? They're so pretty. Vera did such a good job that she is in the back. Say hi. How are you doing? I'm gonna have all of her stuff linked down below in my description box, but they look so good. I just have to do my hair now. Okay, I just had to walk her downstairs, but oh my god, you guys. I got my motherfucking lashes done or whatever. It's been, they look, you know what's crazy? Okay, it's been so long since I've seen myself with lashes that I kind of forgot like how I look. And they look really heavy right now. But honestly, like if I don't get them heavy and I get them more on the natural side, it don't look like anything on my eyes because I have such big eyes. I just need to like comb them out really good. Like on my Insta stories, I was taking little videos to see what they look like. And they look mad good. So I know they look a little heavy on the vlog, but I did tell her volume. And honey, she gave me volume. She gave me what I asked for, so I can't be mad at it. I'm not mad at it. I think they look really cute. We had to stop halfway through so I could put clothes on because I had my AC blasting and I was like freezing. Like, But now I wanna do my hair. This wig needs some serious like TLC, but I was thinking of putting this wig on. I need to clean this lace. That's why I bought the coconut oil. You guys, so I'm putting my wig on, right? And I'm doing my boy cat method. And I saw this girl, I wish I had like her name or something. I saw it on TikTok though. It was a girl doing her wig install and she cut her lace i mean not her lace she cut her bald cap and instead of like cutting off this piece this piece is like usually right here on your forehead and you just like cut and then you cut it off and then you have like the little thingies hanging she didn't cut it off she cut it to where it was still attached so that it can be like reinforced on the top of my head you just have to make sure that it's flat but like it's attached back here 
and it's like holding it down so that my little hairs don't stick out and it feels a lot more secure because the like the back is tucked in like underneath the band so love that okay i feel like this is gonna be a good wig install if i have a good if my ball cap method comes out then i know my wig install is gonna be even better chef's kiss like so i washed my wig i cleaned the lace and i washed it and i conditioned it and now it's just air drying because i don't have a blow dryer um i'm probably just gonna put it on my head wet and then just let it air dry while it's on my head but i just thought i'd share that little bit of you know that little tip or whatever 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 mm, i look good bald too like You guys remember yesterday I prepped that meat in the marinade to make today. So we about to get some things popping or whatever. Mince that garlic as best as you can. It's like medium heat because I don't want to burn the garlic. I'm gonna put some olive oil in my pan. Go in and drop your garlic in there. This is a sweet onion that I'm peeling. Add your onion to the pan. Then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of salt and pepper. Just two cracks. Over here, I'm gonna make rice, basmati rice. So, I don't have a measuring cup. How am I supposed to measure out a cup? I'm gonna take my meat and I'm gonna add it to the pan. Okay, so I'm going to take my vanilla oat milk and I'm going to make my rice with it because I want it to be like, I don't know, slightly sweet. I feel like that would complement really well. So I'm pouring it in my rice. gonna do a little bit of salt pepper and smoked paprika and chili powder on this broccoli I love this stuff because smoked paprika is different from regular paprika it tastes it has like a barbecue taste so it tastes so good on like literally everything because it just gives it that barbecue taste cooking that's clip my hair up but yeah when I do these little meals like I don't I didn't look at a recipe I kind of just like throw whatever like I just like to season food the way that I would want to eat it and it's always yummy so it's not bad <laughs> everything smells really good though this broccoli you don't want to overcook your broccoli okay when you cook your broccoli you want it to still be a really bright green color so I would say that this is pretty much done I want to cut the steak for the beef. Yes, sir. 
You guys, look at this video. I just took off my food. I'm weak at you being able to hear my music. <laughs> look at my food. I hope it tastes as good as it looks. It, it's going to taste as good as it looks. It always does. Who am I kidding? But I'm about to eat my Mongolian beef on basmati rice. And I'm probably going to have it with a glass of wine because why not? Typically, you do red wine with um, meat. Let's try it together for the first time. I need some meat. You can taste the oat, the oat milk in the rice, but it doesn't taste bad. And my meat is spicy. Like <laughs> I made this beef really spicy. Mhm. Mm oh wow, this rice though, so 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 good. I did that. Things I did that you know what's crazy, you guys. I never feel like a bad bitch without my nails done. Like that's the one thing and it's, this is so ghetto. This one nail being stuck. I can have everything else done. If my nails are not done, I feel like, ugh. Cause I don't know, I just don't like my hands by themselves. They're so like childish looking. But tell me why <laughs> I'm feeling like a bad bitch. Even though my nails are not done. Like I still feel like that girl, like. <clears throat> Like, I feel like that, you know? <laughs> oh. Oh. Period. Yeah, I'm gonna eat the rest of my yummy dinner that I made myself. Um, drink my wine. I'm gonna watch Selling Sunset because I started it yesterday. I put up a Q&A on my story on Instagram and I was like, what shows do you guys suggest off of Netflix and Hulu? And I got so many people that were like, selling sunset, selling sunset. So I was like, girl, you know what? I'm gonna start it. And I'm obsessed. Those women are messy AF, okay? Hella messy. But that shit is so interesting to watch. Um, don't be surprised if you see more twerking on my channel, especially if I start doing these weekly vlogs all the time. Since y'all want them, you keep asking for them. Y'all finna see me twerk, okay? Like, it's just a booty. Everybody has them. Some people can move them and some can't. And I'm somebody that can, so I'ma move it. <laughs> like, duh. Good morning. You know what's crazy? It's not even morning anymore. It's like 2 o'clock. But this is the first time I'm like talking to you guys. I've literally, I've been up since like 11. But I've just been laying in bed doing nothing. Been on my phone. I was responding to comments under youtube my youtube videos and i was on facetime with my best friend <laughs> but like literally not doing anything so but it's still good morning because maybe i don't know somebody's it's somebody's morning somewhere right good afternoon vlog it's thursday um honestly i'm feeling very like mm, i don't know like i don't know how i'm feeling I put up a poll on my Insta story this morning, probably like an hour ago, and I was like, should I go on live today? Because I'm kind of feeling like I want to talk to you guys. Like, I've been feeling very, like, chatty as of recent. <laughs> and, yeah, so, like, I feel like that's also why I've been on the phone with, like, a bunch of people. <laughs> like, i just been, like, calling, or not even me, but, like, my friends have just been calling me up. And, or, like, I was on the phone with my mom the other day for, like, an hour and a half, like, I literally just been on the phone with literally everyone. <laughs> no, I'm definitely gonna do my makeup on live, but probably do like my hair too, like my hair and makeup. You know what I just realized? It's me making breakfast at 2 p.m. for me. This is my breakfast. Um, I did a uh, omelet with cheddar cheese inside on a croissant, and I got some maple sausage. What? Oh, that was a water bottle. And I have some fruit. I did a bowl of fresh fruit. Y'all ever just like put your bonnet to the side like this? Like I feel like you got some hang time so you could be like. 
No, just me? Okay. I literally just looked at the time over on my stove and it was like, it said the time was 222. But I be seeing angel numbers. I don't see 222 like that, but I see angel numbers all the time. And I'm just like, I know that these are signs. Like, I just know, like I believe in that stuff so much. I'm such a spiritual person and I've really like determined what space I want to be in or who I want to be around based on their spirit and what spirit they bring into a space so that's why I don't have that many friends <laughs> no I have friends but like that's why I just be like home you know like I just enjoy being alone and some people think it's lonely or like it's sad but it's not it's actually very comforting to know that you can be content with yourself but I definitely do feel comfortable being by myself. And I also feel like that heavily ties into me being an Aquarius and we're just really good at being loners. Like we appreciate our space. We're good at giving space. Hi vlog. The last time we spoke was a minute ago, but I went on live earlier. I did my makeup. I actually was able to save the live for the first time ever <laughs> um, to my IGTV story. So it'll still be there um, probably when this vlog goes up. So you guys can go and watch it because it was juicy, okay? Um, I did my makeup and my hair. It came out hella cute. Look at my, my baby hairs. And then I did like a Q&A portion and answer some of your questions. And then I told the story time about the time that I got my ex-boyfriend's name tattooed. <laughs> it's crazy because I told that story and I don't know how many people knew that, but that's like low key a secret. Like, <laughs> and I can't believe I just told it on live, but like, oh well, what are you gonna do? It happened, life happens. I really did my thing with this wig, that's crazy. It looks so good. Focus on me. Hi vlog. Happy Friday. It's Friday, I just did my hair. I'm not wearing any makeup, but I got dressed. So I just have on, oh my gosh, I wear these shorts all the time, but they're so comfortable and they're like really cute and I distress them so they're even cuter now. Yeah, so these shorts, I thrifted them in New York City from L Train Vintage. If you're from New York City, you know L Train Vintage. They were jeans, they were long, they went all the way to my leg, my ankles, but I cut them into shorts and then I distressed them. So now they're hella cute, but I wanted to stress them more actually. Yeah, I'm looking. Why am I looking so skinny this morning? Like, <laughs> excuse me. You think I'm skinny? <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna like stand here and admire myself in this mirror for like another two minutes. Take some boomerangs and <laughs> I'll be out the door. I'm out. I took myself on a date. I'm gonna treat myself nice. And I'm not even gonna feel weird about vlogging in public because guess what? I need to do it. <laughs> you guys, I got my glass of rose. So good, by the way. Um, and then I got a watermelon salad. Wait, but it didn't come with the prosciutto. It was supposed to come with prosciutto. I got my prosciutto and I'm taking my little boomerangs. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta you gotta treat yourself, you know? Like you feeling like a bad bitch, you looking like a bad bitch, you know. You gotta treat yourself. So do it ladies. Do that. Love this. Love this for me. Yeah. I got myself and a Moscato. Am I my cute little? This is Moscato dessert wine. That's yummy. Hey, look at my little. This is the apple tart with ice cream, and I took a little boomerang too. I just ordered my third glass of wine. It's a Riesling. 
It's a wee It's not supposed to help find us. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna have to, cause you guys, I look good. Hold on, wait a minute. <laughs> It's the, oh, I should put body love on my boobs. Just a little bit. I'm going to do that right now. It's the chains for me. Um, The press on nails. The beat. The, the ice on the finger. The ice on the ankle. The snatched body. Like, hello. Stop playing with me. <laughs> Bitch. And then I got my clear heels on. Um, these are hella old. I've had these for so long. White toes. The hashtag is white toes good pussy. Are you dumb? <laughs> my Uber is about to be here in like two seconds. So I'm about to go out with Mona and some of, ooh, some of her friends. So this is what I'm wearing. Yeah, this is what I'm wearing. Um, I'm probably not gonna bring my vlog camera because it doesn't fit in my bag and I don't want to risk it. Um, but I'm about to go out. My Uber's about to be here. It's gonna be here in a minute. Bye! Good morning, vlog! It's Sunday. Um, I really didn't do anything um, yesterday. I did go out for like a little bit in the nighttime to hang out with my friends but then i like i didn't bring my vlog camera because we were just chilling it was a kickback but it is sunday it's the last day of the vlog um i'm actually going on a cute little <laughs> brunch date um so i'm getting ready for that but i wanted to like do my skincare my morning skincare routine i just woke up like an hour ago it's 11 o'clock my date is at 12. I'm probably going to be running a little bit late, but girls, you know girls run late. So, I'm going to do my little morning skincare routine. I just got out the shower, finished lotioning my body up. Um, Let me put some coconut oil on my skin, actually. Yeah, this lotion from Nubian Heritage is so good, and I've had this for so long. They sent this to me in PR, like, probably over a year ago. And I kind of forgot I had it. And then when I was moving here, I put it in my stuff, like my boxes. And wow, I'm just obsessed. So I need more because this stuff is amazing. And it smells so good. There's like a matching um, shea butter. And then there's also matching hand cream. I gave the hand cream to my mom. But I'm just putting that all over my body. I'm just putting on the coconut oil that I bought the other day from... CVS, that's from Shea Moisture. Slick and moisturize, are you dumb? Okay, so I'm gonna wash my face because I did a little bit of make, I did makeup yesterday. So I'm gonna take this foaming cleanser, One Love. It's a really good face wash for just like gently cleansing the skin without drying it out. You guys know I have dry skin so I can't do the super drying face washes. like. The gel based ones i need something that's like an oil base or a milk base and it's gonna like break down makeup or just clean my face without drying it out so put that on my skin and because my lashes are done i always like if i have lashes on i'm avoiding my eyes <laughs> my skin i just want to make sure that there's no makeup on it before I put new makeup on today because I don't want to clog my pores. Even though I should have done this last night, but I was too, I was honestly, I was way too tired. <laughs> it's a gentle foaming cleanser, so it gets a little foamy and a little sudsy. So you do get that clean feeling, but it's not drying my skin out. I actually really, really love it. So there we go. And then I'm gonna take my washcloth. This is the one designated for my face. Don't use this anywhere else. Okay, 
And with it a little bit wet, I'm just going to put that in the room. See, and there's makeup crying on too, so that's how I know. Okay, um, and then next I've just been using the One Love Skin Do Coconut Water Cream. This moisturizer is so nice, so good, so moisturizing, so lightweight, smells really cute, like, and I just put this all over my face. I wish I had an oil, but I actually just ran out. I don't know, it's like I don't even have to do my makeup, honestly, but I'm gonna do a little something something. Yeah, so that's my little morning routine as of right now. The only thing that I would use in that routine that I didn't use today was an oil, but I need to get another one because, like I said, I ran out. But I'm about to do a really quick little light beat, finish getting dressed. I'll show you guys my outfit for brunch and my makeup, and then I'm going to head out. <laughs> Okay, so this is my little outfit that I'm wearing. Um, this is the two-piece thing that I bought, the two-piece set that I bought from Zara. And then I have on this cropped jean jacket that I'm always wearing that's actually also from Zara. Yeah, so that's what I'm wearing. And then I have my little coach bag. Um, the only thing is the coach bag has black on it, and I'm like, I don't know if I should do that, but like, it looks really cute, the cream with the brown, I'm giving fall, it's giving fall, you know. Oh, I look cute right there. I'm about to go to brunch, um, so hopefully it'll be cute. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this week's weekly vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I feel like I did a lot of stuff this week, so this vlog is gonna have a lot of stuff that went down. So comment down below your favorite part of the vlog, actually. Do that down below. Leave a comment which part was your favorite. Go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up down below. Go ahead and click that subscribe button so that there will be new videos and you're notified every single time I do post a new upload. There's new videos two times a week. I love you guys so much. Don't forget, you are smart, you are beautiful, and people love you. I love you, and I can't wait to see you in my next upload. Bye!